Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video and in today's video we will be talking about Air Command for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now if you are new here to the channel of Jimmy is Promo or you have not subscribed already, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified of all my future Galaxy Note 9 videos. Now to kick off this video, let's talk a little bit of exactly what is Air Command. Air Command is a floating icon that stores and holds shortcuts that will help you on your day-to-day -day business or day-to-day -day personal life of owning the Samsung Galaxy series. Now when you do open up Air Command, there's a couple different ways of opening this up. The first one is actually by going to your floating icon, hitting on it, and it opens up. Or if you hover the S Pen over the screen where you see that small little indicator, if you hit on your S Pen button once, it'll also pop it up. And the other way of opening this up is through your settings if you have it turned on with the removal of the S Pen. Uh, right now mine is up to do nothing, but you are able to have it open up Air Command instantly when you first pull it out. Now I use my S Pen for so many different things and the access of opening up Air Command is extremely easy by hitting the floating icon. So as of right now, mine is set to do nothing. Now also with this little small rotating half circle of all these icons, one of the things you could be able to do is press and hold. You can rotate them in, in what order you would like them to be, or you'd also be able to have them being removed. Now, the other thing you can do is when you hit on this little plus button over here of what shortcuts you would like to add, you will be able to add up all the way into 10 different applications or 10 different shortcuts, which all of them will be over here on the right hand side. And any application, even if it's preloaded or if it was a third party, is able to be inside of Air Command. So if you find yourself always using Fortnite, or Facebook, or Instagram, Snapchat, any of those will be able to be placed inside of your Air Command. Now before we go over into all of these different shortcuts over here, let's kind of go back over into the settings and let's scroll down just a little bit and this is where you have all your Air Command stuff. So these are the shortcuts that we just shown you on the last page of that half rotating circle. This is where you can either tap on them and it'll put it into the list or you hit the little red dash and it will remove it. Now you'll also be able to see if you want your floating icon on or off. But I will mention that if you do have the floating icon on, which I do highly suggest, you are able to actually press and hold, place it anywhere, you can remove it, and if it is removed, every time you detach your S Pen from the phone, this will pop right back up. And then, as I said from before, what happens when you remove the S Pen, you can either have it open the air command or do nothing. Now that we've gone over exactly what is Air Command, we talked about moving these around, customizing this, going through the settings. Now let's talk about some of the pre-installed or pre-loaded or pre-shown applications that is with inside of Air Command. Now the first one will be the creating of a note. Now the note series is definitely known for creating notes. You have an S Pen that's in your hand. Uh, it's an easy way that you're able to create list. You know, maybe you need to go to the store and get some milk and get some eggs. You'd be able to save this thing to your little note section or you'd also be able to make this thing open up into the full blown Samsung notes where you're able to do drawings and add images and everything else. But this is just a fast way of creating a note. Now, originally out of the box, it will have it turned off where you cannot use your finger. But if you wanted to, you'd be able to turn this on and you can make it to where you can use your finger or you can use the S Pen. But more than likely, because you have the S Pen out, you'd be able to have it to where it's only for the S Pen usage and not your fingertips. And just as a small little fast tip and trick or hidden feature, if you do want to open up the little quick note over here, instead of you going inside of Air Command and then clicking on another application, if you press and hold on the S Pen button and double tap, on the screen, it will pop up that quick note for you. This is just maybe a little bit faster than opening up Air Command and opening the application. Now, as we go through the rest of these applications inside of Air Command, if you notice that the order of yours out of the box is a little bit different than mine, it's only because I went through and rearranged them and customized them over to my needs. Now, let's say we go over into Live Message because there's actually quite a bit of additions and improvements for Live Message on the Galaxy Note 9 versus the Galaxy Note 8. Now, first off, you have three different options on the very bottom. This is where you can change the color of the back background, you can add in the image or put in your AR emoji, which is the stickers that's created by your AR emoji. Now you can have a couple of these different two-toned typed backgrounds. There are some of these that are solid backgrounds you'd be able to use. And then also if you went through the middle, this is where you add in a image of anything from your gallery. And then here is your AR emojis. Now because this one is pretty well new, let's kind of do one of these. So here is one with the heart option. So you're able to send this little gift to somebody and say that, you know, pretty much maybe you can say, I love you. But on the very top left hand side let's go through some of these different additions now up here for your pen effect what was there from before in the galaxy note 8 was ink you also had glow as well as sparkle so now what is new is hearts snowflakes as well as rainbow 
Now, you also have all the different color palettes. You can choose anything here that's solid. You have a full wheel that you're also able to use. And let's say that we just kind of stick with red um, and let's go with the normal, let's do glow just for fun, just for the first one here. So what you're able to see and notice is as I am writing, there it is changing a little bit. So as my letters or my writing is being put in, this will also move too. So if you are writing, let's say I love you, and then you hit on the play button, then it's gonna play the whole thing for you. And also, if you needed to start over, you're able to start over. If you need to move back one of the different things you have written, you are able to. You can also format it if you want it to be as a high quality, if you want it normal quality GIF, or if you want it as a MP4. And then if you are done, you hit on done, and then you're able to send it because it's gonna be able to be saved to your device. Now what we will do is we'll just go to a normal solid back color. And then now this is where I'm gonna show you these three new additions to the pen effect. So now if you do choose the hearts option, as you go through, these are gonna be little baby hearts that pretty much kind of flutter up and they go up. Now let's say that we wanted to check out what the next little pen effect is, and this one is snowflakes. So with this one, I'm gonna put it as white, and then now this is where you can see as you draw, snowflakes is coming down from the screen. So it's actually pretty fun to see some of these new little effects, and around definitely Christmas, um, you're able to do some of these little drawings here, and you're able to watch um, not only your drawing, but some of the snowflakes come from what you are drawing. And then the last one over here is going to be rainbow. So with rainbow, this is where you get to choose what is pretty much gonna be the color palette of when it's changed. So you can see that it goes from blue to green to yellow to blue to green to yellow and so on and so forth. And so you'll also be able to go through here. You can change it of whatever color you want it to be. You can choose, you know, how thick is it going to be. And then this is where you're able to see pretty much the rainbow effect. Now, the next one that we will talk about is Smart Select. Now, Smart Select is a huge thing for me, at least personally, because I use Smart Select literally every single day. It's a way that you're able to share something that's on your screen, but you don't have to keep it cluttered in your gallery of your phone. So I already selected smart select I'm going to keep it on rectangle and let's just say that I really only just want to share this little bit of what is shown on the screen now the great thing with this one is that you're able to do a auto select you can have extract the text or you can even pin this to your screen but one of the things I usually use mostly is the ability of me to share it. So if I hit on share, I can share just this little piece of the screen with Twitter or Facebook or with a text message. Or if I wanted to, I can save it to my device. But usually when I am sharing something, I just want somebody to see whatever I want them to see and I don't want it to clutter my gallery. Now that is where this one will definitely come in handy versus taking a screenshot. Now if you have an iPhone or anything else, you would have to take a screenshot, go to that picture in the gallery, then you'd have to crop it. When once you get it down cropped, you'd be able to share it. Then you go back to the original image, delete that image. Then you can go back to the one that you shared. And if you don't want it in your phone, you can delete it. So you kind of get where I'm going, where Smart Select will definitely just be super easy. You select the area you want, hit share, you're done, it's gone, hit back a couple times, and now you have nothing that is saved on your phone, unless if you want it to be. Now, another fun thing you're able to do with Smart Select is create something that is referred to as a GIF. And yes, I do say GIF, I don't say GIF, because it does stand for graphics, not giraffics. So what you are able to do is you can either resize this for whatever size you want it to be, you'd be able to place this in the place that you would like to create a GIF. So either you can do this with a video on YouTube, you can do this with a video that's inside your gallery, and you can either record it at either high quality or standard quality. Now I do highly suggest playing the video first, making sure all these icons are gone, and then when you hit on record, everything that is inside of this box will be put in over into a GIF. And then once you hit on done, it will play it back right here, and then you're able to send it off in a text message, or you can share it off in Facebook or anywhere else you would like to share it. Now this next one is very self-explanatory and very easy to show off. It's a way to show all of your notes that is stored inside of Samsung Notes. Now this next one is definitely fun to play with, but it can also be a extremely useful tool, which is Translate. Now I am at the Samsung.com website, but the version of the website is in Spanish. Now this will definitely help you if you're checking out a menu of a restaurant that you haven't tried before, but you don't know what exactly is in the dish. Maybe you took a picture of directions and you're a different country. There's so many different use case scenarios. And let's say that you would like to translate it from Spanish. And let's say we want to put it over into English. Now right over here, this one is set to the T, which means text, which means one word. Word, and if I was to hover my little S Pen over a word, it'll tell me what it is in Spanish and also English, and I can also make it speak the word. 
Now, I don't know if the mic picked that one up, but it is speaking this word in Spanish for me. Now, if you want to check it all out in a full paragraph form, you'd be able to change it on the very top right over here. And once you click on that, you'll see those three little lines letting you know that you are translating this entire sentence, which is enjoy QLED TV even when it's off. So it's a way that you'd be able to go through all the different sentences extremely fast without having to really go word by word by word, unless if you wanted to hear each word individually versus the entire sentence. Now the next one up is going to be screen write. So screen write is a way that it will take a screenshot of exactly what you are looking at on your screen and then instantly it's a way that you're able to draw or write on top of it. So you can do this with pictures or you can even make it as useful as if let's say your mom asks you, hey, where is the settings of the always on display and how can I change the times? I'd be able to actually circle always on display right here. I can basically say, hey, you need to flip this thing over here and then maybe down here you can say 5 a.m and you can have it go till, I don't know, 12 p.m. Um, but you'll also notice on the very top that it is inside of the lock screen. So I would say, you know, go here, and then you can change all the different settings and everything else. And then one more awesome scenario for screen write is using it with maps. So if you do the screen write option, what you're able to do is show people where they should actually travel. So I'm gonna make this one a little bit more thick. I made it green and I'm gonna say, hey, you need to make sure that you are actually going this way um, because you definitely do not wanna go the opposite way. Or let's say we don't want you to go this way because there is some, um, I don't know, construction or something going on. So it's kind of a way that you're able to also do it inside of maps, which is definitely an amazing tool if you're trying to navigate somebody and get them away from either bad areas of a city or construction. Now the very last one that we will be talking about is going to be pen up. Now pen up is something that not everybody uses and it might not be made for everybody but if you are somebody who's a little bit creative or you just want to see what people would say about whatever you draw or color or anything else it's a really fun community of sharing whatever you create. Now you're able to work on any drafts that you've worked on. You can add things from the gallery or you can just work on your drawing. Now let's say that you want to do a drawing and one of the things that is added to the Galaxy Note 9 that I love is the ability of basically creating a couple different um, layers where you're able to do some drawings over what you see. So let's say as example that we go to the camera, we go to Luigi, and I've used this in a previous video as a demonstration, but it's really fun to really play with. So when you go inside of here, you can really get up close and personal. You can get as detailed as you want, as accurate as you want, and as you go through everything, and if you take your time, which I'm not taking my time now, I'm just showing you a really fast example. One of the things is that if you do put the image in there, you can also remove the image to see how far you've gone, what is still left, did you miss something? You can add the image back in, and then you'll be able to go inside of there and maybe finish the little blue in his eyes. And then once you are done, you can remove that background, and then now you're able to save this thing, and then you can share it inside of Pen Up. Now, another fun thing that you are able to do that not a lot of everybody knows about is going to be when you play with the oil paintbrush. With the oil paintbrush, this thing is super realistic to the fact that if you're trying to do a little bit of um, drawing or coloring with paint, you know, when you play with the blue and the yellow, it will definitely color and mix in with that little green color, just like you, it does in real life. So this one's almost kind of like a little hidden feature or hidden tip and trick. And then again, if there's any other shortcuts or applications you'd like to use, hit on that little plus button and then you can go through the rest of these. Now I did not go over the Bixby Vision, Magnify or Glance, but one of the other fun things I guess I can go over is going to be coloring. So when you do play around with coloring, if anybody has kids or if you're an adult and you love doing coloring books for adults, you'd be able to go right inside of here and you can actually start coloring. Now, as you've seen from before, you're able to get really detailed with this. And if you don't want to take the time by coloring it in and making it look a little bit like that, which is kind of like a real life, you know, coloring with a crayon, you can go down here where it says fill color, and then you'd be able to just tap on the area and it actually makes it pretty fun to go with. You know, if you want to see the difference between coloring and then the fill color, you can see what that does to the image. Now, this is definitely fun. I actually, I had a lot of time in enjoying this. Also, so did my son. So actually, the fill color is pretty fun, unless if you wanted to take your time and really get in between those lines. Now, that's pretty much it for Air Command. I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe. You can hit on that red circle right over here on the very bottom left-hand side. Hit that button. You can subscribe that way. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And outside of that, I'll see you guys later.